Here we've got a water flow control process where a submersible pump pumps water through a garden hose up through a venturi tube where we're measuring the flow. This venturi tube has two impulse lines that carry the differential pressure down to a differential pressure transmitter, in this case a Rosemount Model 3051S. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate briefly how we bleed down the impulse tubes of this measurement system to make sure we have no air inside the tubes. This is important because there's a vertical height difference between the transmitter and where the venturi tube is right there. That vertical height elevation, that offset, creates a hydrostatic pressure with these liquid-filled tubes. And if there's any air in those tubes, you tend to have a difference in the hydrostatic pressure from one tube to another that is not attributed to flow, but rather simply to the elevation difference, the hydrostatic pressure difference of those two water columns. That's going to cause a false flow reading, or in some cases a flow error here, down here at the transmitter, because it's going to see a difference of pressure that has nothing to do with flow rate. So we're going to quickly demonstrate how we use the bleed fittings on the transmitter to bleed any air out of the system to rectify this problem. So I'm going to zoom out here and take a small wrench that goes on that fitting. In this case, the process fluid is water, so we're just using a paper towel to absorb the water that might drip. There he's opening up the bleed fitting. We can see the water coming out that bleed hole. And that's what we should see is nothing but water coming out. If we see air bubbles or we hear air bubbles coming out, we know we've bled the air out of the lines. Now this can take a while to do if the lines are very long. So I'm going to bleed the other side now. If we have a lot of air trapped or, and or the impulse tubes are rather long in length, it can take a surprising amount of time to bleed all the air out of the system. So this is a step that takes patience and it might take more time than you would first think. This is done with the system in operation with the pipe under pressure to make sure we have a supply of water inside of our venturi tube to continually fill the impulse lines as we bleed them from the transmitter side. That's a very important step when you're setting up a flow measurement system, is to make sure the impulse lines are properly bled so we do not have air bubbles inside the impulse lines which would cause flow measurement errors.